the Healing Through Love podcast with Charlene Lynch and Rose Davidson. Renee Linsom dives deep into her personal healing journey from trauma on our latest podcast episode 103. There's a light in me that I refuse to for anyone to try to blow out the light that is within me. I refuse. But like I said, it took some time in, in, in order to get there. But now that I'm here, I need to be able to pay it forward to you. And you should never look down on anyone. The only time that we should look down is if we are pulling somebody up. Well, that's why I'm here, oh. to be able to pull you up I love so it. you can get there. And now, and then you can pass it forward. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Healing Through Love. Each week, we share ideas, experiences, and resources to increase the awareness of domestic and family violence and to empower survivors to grow and thrive. We talk with experts who share their advice or with people who have experienced abuse, no matter where they are on their journey. This is all about healing through love. And now, here are your hosts, Charlene Lynch and Rose Davidson. Hello and welcome to the Healing Through Love podcast, a space where stories of strength, resilience and transformation unfold. I'm your host, Charlene Lynch, and I'm honoured to be your guide on this journey of empowerment and healing. Today, we have a very special guest and a very special episode tailored specifically for you, whether you're driving the car or sipping a cup of tea or simply taking a moment for yourself. I want you to know that you're in a safe place. Healing Through Love is more than a podcast. It's a community, a beacon of hope, a reminder that you are not alone. In this episode, we've got a great guest that I'm going to introduce to you in a moment who's going to share their story and that resonates with the core of our mission, a story that illuminates the power of love, resilience and unwavering strength that lies within each of us. So settle in, come take a deep breath and let the healing begin. But before we dive into our amazing guest today, inspiring narrative and a quick reminder that that we find value in our episode. And if you find value in this episode, please consider supporting us by subscribing, sharing, and, and leaving a review. Your engagement helps us reach more people and spread the message of healing. Now today we've got an amazing guest and you can see on the screen, she's referred to Queen Renee Lipson. And many times the answer is not clear on the surface, but in the actions. Renee is an encourager, someone who has had life lessons that she's learned them the hard way and she wants to help others do it better than her. Everything she has been through has led her to you. Nothing is a mistake. Come listen and put your heart and your ears forward and you will not regret this. Hello, Renee. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Oh, I'm magnificently magnificent. Now, I love the fact that you've got a free ebook that you're sharing with our listeners today. And I also love the fact that you're going to be encouraging people to write their own stories. But we'll talk about that later. I'd love to start our episode today. We're talking about what was your personal journey that got you here to a space where you're paying it forward for others? A huge self-love journey. It would be easy for me to say that I woke up like this, but I would not be telling the truth. I did not wake up like this. It started, it became, I became a, a cocoon. I was in a cocoon for a very long time until I had to emerge into a butterfly. But it took a very long time growing, growing up. I'm from Northeast Ohio, I'm from the States. So I didn't look at all like everybody. I wanted to, but I never did. And that made me cause for a lot of ridicule, a lot of things, people, ugly things that people said about me. And I had to go through a lot of heartbreak at a very early age until 
I got to my mid twenties and I had to say, okay, there's got to be something else in me that there's got to be something, something else exploring in me. I, I had to kind of get rid of what other people said about me. And I had to make up my own mind about myself. Notice I said I was in my 20s. So it took me about 20 something years to get to that point. But it was well worth it. Because the greatest, the greatest love story that you'll ever be a part of is right here. Everything starts with you. Everything starts with you. I'm in my 30s now. <laughs> And I love me. I know that I'm weird. I know that sometimes when I laugh, I snort. It happens. It really does. But I've accepted, I, I've accepted that about me. And I love that about me. There's a light in me that I refuse to for anyone to try to blow out the light that is within me. I refuse. But like I said, it took some time in, in in order to get there. But now that I'm here, I need to be able to pay it forward to you. And you should never look down on anyone. The only time that we should look down is if we are pulling somebody up. So that's why I'm here, wow. to be able to pull you up I love so it. you can get there. And now, and then you can pass it forward. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And it is true. We go through an experience. And uh, for me, it was the loss of my baby boy. But we've all got these things that we that happen for us, not to us. And that's the big shift. That's when we know that we're living above the line, when we can see that the things that happen regardless of how bad, how horrible, how terrific, how really terrible they are, that they happen so that we can evolve, that we can move forward and that we can grow. And then when you're on the other side, as you say, is to put your hands there and help someone to move forward as well. I love that. I love that. I love that. So oh, now yeah. I love that you're from Ohio. So both of my parents were ministers of religion and we lived in Ohio and New Knoxville oh. for a while and a few other spaces in, in Ohio. And, uh, yeah, so um, I think it's the Bible Belt of America, must be, because there were a lot of other ministers there, and we used to knock on doors to, you know, get the message across. So, yeah, I oh, like Ohio. In fact, someone was asking me the other day, why, do, why did you like Ohio? And for me, Ohio as a whole is very similar to Adelaide, South Australia. It's like a big country town. So I reckon we should be sister cities. Absolutely. Absolutely. There, there's a lot of, but then it's, it's a, um, it's a place of kind of hard knocks too, in a way, because I, I feel that my upbringing in, in Ohio is, I'm like, well, if I can make it in Ohio, then I can make it anywhere. So you kind of have that mindset everywhere that you go, because it's like, okay, it's just like home, <laughs> but a little, different people, but kind of the same thing a little bit. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Now you've yeah. written a book. Now this ebook, which we're making available for free for our listeners. So this is fabulous listeners. You can use the links that are in the show notes and the show descriptions and get access to this, uh, this free ebook. Can you tell us a little bit about what the clients are going to get, what our listeners are going to get out of uh, reading the ebook? So the title of this ebook is Embracing Your 5% is Your Path to Personal Freedom. And so I wrote this book because my, my mentor was talking about, you know, your 5%, dual senior 5%. And I was like, hmm. So a lot of the things that we go, that we go through in life, some, a lot of it doesn't have anything to do with us. 95% of things have nothing to do with you, nor is it anything that you want in your reality. So you hold on to that 5% of what you do want in your reality and you go off of it. So for me, if I'm in this room and I'm writing and somebody is calling me, that's not, then sorry, then that, that phone call isn't important because that means they could try to get me off track when I'm writing and I'm flowing. Then that means that 
my 5%, I need to be paying attention to my 5%. Not everything that comes that, that comes in your life is worthy of a response. Mm. So I had to learn that, okay, no. When my aunt would try to call me, no, no, I'm writing or I'm in this space or I'm meditating and I need to be present where I am. So that's what, that's what I talk about in the ebook. And it's some things that you can do, some, some lessons you can learn. You'd be like, okay, all right, I'm just going to do my 5%. And when I close the door, my husband will say, Renee, are you doing your 5%? Yes, I am. He'd be like, okay, I know not to bother you because you're doing your 5%. And I'm, so you, it'll, it'll help you to structure your day where you can devote to your 5%. Now, if you had to take that phone call later on, then you can take it when you are done with your 5%. <laughs> so, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. As a woman uh, who's ADHD and has been all of her life, I have struggled to find tools and techniques to help me stay on track so that I can manifest the life of my abundance. So I love that, the 5% rule. It's fabulous. And uh, and listeners, it, it, you know, lean in. If this is something that you really need to, you know, get into your system and something that you can actually inculcate into your daily routine, download the ebook and have a beautiful read and and soak it up. And I can I highly suggest have a hot cup of um, choco, choco cocoa. <laughs> There's nothing in the <laughs> in the cocoa, um, or or a cup of tea and read the book. I love it. Now. You are a writer and you encourage people to write their stories so that they can learn through their stories, so that they can shift through their stories, so that they can then help others through their stories and so that they can reflect on the lessons that they've learned and help move forward. Now, that's whether you're writing a book for business or you're writing a book for um, to increase your digital footprint or you're writing a book just to get it out because you don't want to die with your music inside. So can you tell us a little bit more about your... Uh, now, I want to get the name right, Freedom Airs. And uh, there's got to be a reason why you've called it Freedom Airs. Can you explain the title and tell us a little bit more about your book book process? Absolutely. Freedom Airs, I am a huge person about legacy. If you see me doing something, it's I love legacy. I love being able to give back. And so I said, okay, Airs, because it's going to go from legacy to legacy. And there is a freedom, I believe, that comes with writing, with leaving things behind for the next generation. There's a freedom in that. Not everyone gets to leave things behind. Um, sometimes we get to, we 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 don't leave, sometimes we don't leave behind the right things. But I, I believe there's freedom in writing and passing that along to the next generation, to the next, the next legacy. So um, I just was like, hmm. And I was like, okay. And so it just kind of sat with me and I thought, okay, I'm going to go with it. And everyone, everyone, I believe that everyone has a story and there is something, there is something that people can learn from you that they can only learn from you. Okay. I, I'm, I'm grateful that my story is, my story is, for, it's for me, but it's not for me. It is for other people that are coming up that are like, well, Renee, I, I've been, I've, I've lived in the inner city all my life where I've been in this situation where I didn't love myself. And I was there, even though I was living in a different place, but that still, still was me. So things that I've been through, wait, they weren't for me. It was actually to help somebody else. So your book is the exact same way. So what I do, I have a ghostwriting business where if people, some people, they do not like to write or if they like to write in their journals and they just say, okay, I'm leave it at that. But to do a book, I don't like to do it and I'm not even going to try. Right? <laughs> and that's fine because it's art for me and it's very therapeutic for me. But of course, not everyone feels that way. And I understand. So that's why um, I will write your book for you. If you, I will interview you and ask you different questions. And you can go as far depth in as you would like to. And I will sit there with my computer and be like, okay, 
and I will write you a book, a customized book, according to whatever it is you want to talk about. We will, I'll, we will go over the outline together so you can be like, okay, Renee, this is what you're going to do. So it literally goes from idea to outline to book. That's exactly how, how I flow. And you could tell me, Renee, I like this. Can you go a little bit more into depth here? Absolutely. I go as, as far as you would like for me to go. And my imagination is very big. <laughs> so sometimes people have to tell me to scale it back a little bit. But then sometimes people have to say, go all the way, Renee. And I'm like, okay, if you want me to go all the way, I surely will. So my imagination is pretty big. But um, a book is a great way for you to not only get your name out there, but for somebody to pick up and read that book. That book is your is your DNA, is your handprint on this world. Uh-huh. It is a huge step and it is a beautiful step to make because somebody is going to be blessed by what you have to by what you have to say. Uh-huh. So don't let it. I love that. Don't I- let it go. Um, it's continue to do it. Sorry. <laughs> Renee, that's, I got that's excited. <laughs> leaving a legacy, it's so important. And we've all got so many stories, you know, uh, seeing many of my elderly relatives pass and knowing that there is nobody to have captured their story. And th- yeah. that, like, that's painful. Um, you know, the younger generation of part of past used to ask the questions and write the journals and capture the stories but that's just not happening so we've got people are taking their stories to the grave and how beautiful is it that you can leave a legacy and what an easy process just to you know craft out a sketch and then have a conversation and then you to do the heavy lifting as a ghostwriter now I'm dyslexic so I personally love the concept of having someone else make sense of the mess that comes out of my mouth. And uh, (laughs) whether it's for business or to increase your digital footprint or to get a message out or just to tell your story, you know, every which one of those is still leaving a legacy for, for others to read. And if your book just really makes a difference for one person, then it was worth everything. I love it. So if you're listening to this episode today and you've got a story to tell you want to make a difference in the world, you want to pay it forward, then, you know, reach out, follow the links. They're in the show descriptions and the show notes and and contact Renee and she'll have a conversation with you about what it looks like for her to be a ghostwriter for your book. I love it. I love it. If you're listening today and you yourself are a practitioner or somebody who can make a difference to others, that could be maybe you do hair or makeup or you can do facials or hand massage. doesn't matter as long as you do a physical service for other people. If you've got a heart for difference and you want to know more about how this works, we'd love to have a conversation with you about running a pamper day in your local area. We're running some masterclasses in the next couple of months as an introduction to see if this is something that you want to learn. And then we're running a training program to teach you everything that we know about how to run these events. And the entire thing is free. We're paying it forward because we know to increase this paying it forward and healing through love is we need to help others do the same that we've done so that we can hold that space for those girls who are survivors and now going to be thrivers. So please contact us at Healing Through Love. Renee, this is a fantastic conversation and I swear we could go all night. It's night time for me. I think it's daytime for you. And I think it's yes for you. And it's <laughs> so we're I think we're a day apart. <laughs> yes. I love how time travels. I'd love to know, just in closing, Renee, what would be your words of wisdom to share with our audience? Where you are is not where you are where, where you are always going to be. What is in front of you is far better than what is behind you. So I want you to, no matter what, keep moving even if it is a step even if you just have to pull yourself progress is progress don't allow don't stay down okay get up because you're you're a lot stronger than you think you are and you better believe there's somebody that needs what you have to give and they're looking at you to be like okay all right that's how I'm gonna move so Put your head up. You are a queen. You are a king. 
So continue to know that for yourself. Love on yourself on today. Oh, I love it, Renee. That is so beautiful. Thank you for listening with us and enjoying this moment with Healing Through Love and reaching into the idea that perhaps maybe you could write a book and if it was as easy as having a conversation, much the same as we're having today, you could have your book written. I love that idea. Reach out. The details are in the show notes. And also grab the ebook, which is going to be fantastic about staying in your 5%, staying in your lane, paying attention to the things that are going to help you manifest the life of your dreams. Thank you so much for joining us today on Healing Through Love. That's a goodbye from me and a goodbye from Renee. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Healing Through Love. You can get further resources, see the show notes, or simply reach out to us via our website at htlaustralia.org. Thanks so much for joining us, and we look forward to your company next time on the Healing Through Love podcast.